and welcome to Yield Cooking Show. This spooky season has been made especially spookier as a new plague has descended upon us. After seven months of scouring our collections, we have finally unearthed our prized cookbook, The Art of Cookery, written in 1754 by a lady. Hidden within its pages is a recipe that claims to ward off the plague. Now follow along as we brew this plague potion. Take the fruit, sage. Mint. Rosemary. Wormwood. And lavender, a handful each. Infuse them together in a gallon of white wine vinegar. Put the whole into a stone pot, closely covered up upon warm wood ashes for four days. One, two, and four. After which, draw off or strain through fine flannel the liquid, and put it into bottles well corked. And into every quart bottle, put a quarter of an ounce of camphire. With this preparation, wash your mouth and rub your loins and your temples every day. Snuff a little up your nostrils when you go into the air, and carry about you a bit of sponge dipped in the same in order to smell to upon all occasions especially when you are near any place or person that is infected. They write that four malefactors who had robbed the infected houses and murdered the people during the course of the plague owned when they came to the gallows, that they had preserved themselves from the contagion by using the above medicine only, and that they went the whole time from house to house without any fear of the distemper. As delicious as this herbaceous plague potion is, we do not recommend that you substitute this for anything that your medical service provider has recommended to you. But do enjoy in front of a nice warm fire all alone on All Hallows Eve. Thanks for watching this episode of Ye Old Cooking Show. Now be sure to follow the University of Arkansas Museum on Facebook and Instagram to stay tuned for more episodes coming soon.